Today we're hunting a site that I've previously hunted with the V3i and also with the MX Sport. Uh, this is the Sham Residence, Geo Sham, which I found out since then that it's George Sham. George Sham's parents moved here in 1830. George was born in 1818. And uh, when they came here, the family actually settled about three quarters of the mile down the road here. His dad was a minister for a Mennonite church. Now, George built his house here and he lived his whole life here for 79 years and passed away is not, and is buried not too far away from here. Now in 1830, it's kind of reading the story about them coming here, uh, they actually came here with two other families and they were in covered wagons all the way from, I think it's Northampton or Northampton, Pennsylvania. And uh, all that way with, you know, horse and, a, you know, and wagons to come here just on vacant land to set up, you know, build a house and start life here. Pretty amazing to think about. But let's hunt this house and see what we can find today. I've only got about, you know, three and a half hours or so before I need to get home. Let's hunt and see what turns up. So let's get to it. Going into programs, I'm going to select coin and jewelry. I have the Super 12 selected, and I'm going to go into expert menu. I'm visually rejecting bottle cap off and hot rock off. BDI select by, edit. I'm accepting all the way from negative 7 all the way up to positive 93. Sensitivity, we're going to start at 12. Discrimination sensitivity, we're going to start at 91. All metal, 72. Search audio, discrimination. Frequency, all three frequencies. Lock track. Filter and speed, 7.5 band pass. Recovery delay, I'm going to take this up. We're going to run at 90 today. Live search screen, search, spectrograph. My consistency, I'm going to run this up to about 30. So it doesn't, the numbers don't have to be all that close together. Ground bounce and get going. First target of the day right there at five and a half. Smooth, 41, 45, it's all in the 40s. Still in the hole. It's reading 67, 69 now. Let's see if we can find this thing together. Right dead center, that's a good sign. So it started out really low and then got higher. Well, there it is. Aluminum siding. This place does have aluminum siding on it and when they set up a desk out here and they're snipping off little pieces all day installing that stuff back whenever it was installed, this is what you get. All right, let's keep looking. Got a target here at three inches, not all that deep, but it's 56, 58. Pretty consistent, let's see what it is. See if I got it out of there. It's now 38, 41. It might be another piece of those, uh, a piece of aluminum siding. <laughs> it's a Lincoln penny, a 2001 Lincoln penny. All right, let's keep moving. Got one right there at three and a half. Pretty good reading, 70, 69. Let's see what that is. Now remember, when you use these higher recovery delays, like 60, 70, 80, 90, all the way up into the hundreds, you gotta swing a lot slower. Same thing goes for your ground filters. If you use a five or seven and a half, you have to swing a lot slower than if you used a 10 or whatever the other one is, 12 and a half, I think. Sounds like it's in the plug. Yeah. It's just a piece of aluminum with three holes in it. See, that's what we have. So you got three holes. I broke it trying to mess with it some, but that's all we have. Let's uh, keep moving. This one at five and a half. Barely reading. We're gonna check it anyway. Still in a plug. This is what we have so far. I can tell. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit more interesting than a piece of foil. Let's clean it off. It's like we uh, just have a modern shirt button of some sort, little snap. So let's keep looking. It's a pretty small target for that big old coil to find. All right, let's keep going. Two and a half inches, 77. Probably a soda can. Or it could be this, it's something green. Well, I think I know what this is. By the color of it, it's John Deere green. And I think it's the cab off the top of a uh, toy John Deere tractor, the top of it. So it's something like that. All right, let's keep moving. Right there, it's six and a half inches, which is good, makes it older, but watch this. 73, 78, 75. 
Might actually have something silver. How about we go, how about we go find out? Check in the hole. Check in the hole, it says 78. Let's come over here. I do believe that we're about to find something nice. It's right there. Could be that big chunk of iron too. That's not good. Uh, looks like that metal, or see, that this came off something flat. That chunk of dirt. Let's be gentle. Oh, look at that. What do you think that is? Look, you may be able to see that. I think it's a large scent. Yeah, you can see it. It's not laying flat because when I pulled the dirt off of it, um, I've never had, they always like usually pop out of the hole on me. But uh, whatever this is, it's laying on a slant angle. You may be able to see. Man, look at that. What do you think that is? It looks about the size of a, of a large set. It could be a half. That's pretty awesome. All right, let me uh, mess with this a little bit and try to get it cleaned up some so y'all can see it. There's a little bit of text there. Let me flip it over. The one in the scent, you might be able to see. All right, time to clean it. Give me just a second. All right, you ready for it? Here's our find. It's an 1851 large scent. It's in really good condition. Uh, I know it's got a real good coating on it right now. I'm gonna try to clean that up at the house. But uh, man, 1851. You can see on the back it's all got real good relief to it but it still when they come out of the ground in some of these yards like this they have this coating on here and i'll have to chip it off with a uh toothpick and uh, clean it real gently but you can see the one scent there it's pretty awesome isn't it look at that thing been in the ground all those years here's our next target at four and three quarter now if you look right there on the ground you can see a heel indention and where i dug that last one's right there here's our next target not even two feet away and it's right there, it's five and a half, 90, 91, man, this could get good. Or it could be a big piece of flat iron, but I'm hoping it's a coin. Just in case this is old silver, I pulled a great big plug. Boy, that's a big one. Oh, look at that. It's laying right there. We don't have to dig anymore because right there, it lays. Man, isn't that awesome? Round two. Man, it turned out to be an awesome day. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Man, I've never found so many large scents in one yard in my life. All right, here's what we have so far. It's all dirty. Let me clean it up and see how old this one is. Isn't that awesome? All right, this is what we have so far. I don't see a date. Maybe you can make it out on there. I'll do my best at the house to try to get a date on that one, but uh, I'm not able to see it. Definitely 1800s. I may see a four and a three, like an 1843, uh, but I'm not for sure. But here's the back of it. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so I got two of these within about two feet of each other. Let's, uh, let's see if there's some more. Man, this is great. This is the point where everything sounds like a large scent to you after you find two in a row. Oh, it's amazing. It's pretty awesome. Got a decent target here. It's a low one though. Low target at three and a quarter. 44, 49, 47. Pretty small. Let's see what it is. It's actually another one of those uh, snap buttons that we found earlier for a shirt i'm not going to clean this one up but you can see it there it's a little older but not what we're looking for let's keep going got one there at three and three quarter give me all kinds of good stuff let's look at it this way 82 77 sounds really good again let's just see what it is and there's our prize it's still got leather in it. 
It's an old buckle, it's barely together. You can see the buckle there and a really fragile piece of leather in it right there. It's pretty old, but uh, that's all we have. The metal detector probably liked that somewhat circular ring right there. Because you know how those circular rings always show up nice and clear, up in the, clear, close to the 80s. All right, on to the next. And I checked the hole before I put that in. In there, that's the ring I was talking about. <laughs> it was in that plug. All right, that's why it was ringing that way. You can see right here. That piece right there is where it came out. So it had a ring as well. There's a target at three and three quarter. 85, 85, 85. It's most likely a quarter. It might be a modern clad one though. We're getting pretty close to the newer part of this house that people have lived in. But still, that part of the house is really old. So it may be silver, let's see. It's not all that deep, so looks to be a modern one. Let's clean it off together and just see what happens here. It's not, doesn't look to be silver. It's a Washington quarter at least. It is not old at all because it is a 1981. And if I said that was old, then I'd be old. This is an inch and a half, 63 even. Let's see what that is. Oh, I found some of these last time too. They are for roses. Queen Elizabeth Rose, grand floral, all the way from California. Target there at five and a half. 63, 69. Somewhere right there. It's not that. Check it again. Should be right there somewhere. See it? I don't see it. It's that. I see it. It's green, but it's not a coin. It's this. Was it harmonica reed? No. It's green. It's old. It's an old piece of brass or copper, one or the other. Not really identifiable, but that's what it looks like. Sorry, I had that locked on. But yeah, there it is. So, just an old brass or copper thing. Still kind of cool. Old. All right, let's keep moving. Target here, it's seven and a half. 75, 72. Right there. Let's see if it's still in the hole or in the plug. Reading a 87. That's what we have so far. Might be a button. Red awful high. Or a penny. Or a wheat scent or something. Yeah, it looks like a wheat scent. That's what it is. 1930. Pretty deep. Red right awful high though. I'm gonna check the hole and see if there's something else there. Because it was up in the 80s. Let's just see. No. That was it. We got a target here, two and a half. It's 85. It's probably a big can. But we're gonna check it out and see if it's a silver dog. It's interesting. It's like a damper. Like a damper off a stove or something. You can see this wire running through it. And it had two pieces right there and you would have maybe turned it. I don't know what that is, but that's definitely got some age on it. It's kind of a cool dig. I guess it could have been ended up being a big silver dollar. This is really old and wasn't all that deep, so I'll just keep looking around here, see if I can find anything else. Shallow one, three inches. 73, 76. Here's our prize. Uh, I'm not sure on this one. It could be reminding me of a hatchet head, but there's no hole through it. Uh, there is, actually. See, I can. It's real th small, though. I don't know. A little different. Let's keep looking. Last target of the day at six and a quarter. 79, 76. I'm hoping this is a dime. Right there deep coin hopefully it's older or even a coin at all gonna check the hole I don't think it's in there anymore 
Maybe. No, there it is. Looks to be, by the tone, it's gonna be a modern Lincoln scent. And the VDI. Let's dig in there and find it. Oh, there it is right there. Saw it toss off to the side there. Let's just look at the back. Well, it's actually a wheat scent. Right there, if you can see that. Wheat scent's pretty toasted. Let me see age on it. You can barely make it out, but it's a 1943 or five. But at least it's a wheat scent. That's pretty old. All right, well, that's the end of our hunt. Well, that's it for this place today. It's a pretty good hunt. It was not cold, not all that windy. Found some really awesome finds. Those large scents are always super awesome. And uh, love finding those. Didn't find any silver, but that's okay. So, I have the new machine coming this week, the Equinox 800. Now, just understand, I won't be a pro at that thing for a very long time. I'm just like you. I'll ha have a new machine, I need to read, I need to research, watch videos, get out and use it for countless hours until I can be confident on it. So I'll just be a guy with an Equinox 800 for quite some time. But it'll be fun, and, uh, experience something new. You know, I'll never let this thing go. It's super awesome. The sport, awesome tool as well. I'll also use it. You know, anything new, I'm gonna favor for a little bit. So I'm gonna wanna get it out and use it. So I'll be using it. I guess it wasn't that good idea to sit in this little ditch right here cause my butt's starting to get wet. But <laughs> I'll take care of that when I get to the house. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this hunt. It was a nice day to get out. I hope you all are out hunting as well. The ground's thawing out, especially for all you in the north. And uh, see what you all are finding. So as always, take... As always, take care. And thank you for watching.